so we're going to need some water this is water in this bottle and you're also going to need some eco styling gel this is my favorite you're also going to need hair uh, I was using the Mali bread in number one so you're going to need at least two of these I I'm assuming I'm going to probably just need one and a half but you buy two of course and you're also going to need cotton and a needle like this one you're also going to need a comb something that you're going to use to pass the hair and then something like this which you're going to use to brush the hair okay so you're also going to need a lot of bobby pins uh, and you're going to see why you're going to need them so yeah this is my beautiful model today hi <laughs> yeah so um you're going to have to pack the hair into three sections like so Hi lovelies, so at this point I decided to mute the sound and do a voiceover because my girl and I were gossiping. Like you can see we are talking guys, so <laughs> nope, 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 we're not going to let you know what we're talking about. Anyway, so as you can see, I decided uh, to comb using that uh, brush because the brush does actually help to lay the hair flat. And then I added the gel as you can see. So you can see that her hair is actually relaxed and uh, she has some undergrowth. So I had some difficulties uh, lying that hair flat but at the end of the day it did actually lie flat and it came out just the way I wanted it to lie flat. Yeah. So. Anyway, uh, you know, some of these hairstyles, guys, they are very simple, like this in particular one. You can actually do it at home. Um, something that you can actually do even before you can go for work in the morning. It's very easy. It takes like less than 30 minutes and you are done. So as you can see now, I'm um, doing the second part and uh, not where the part is coming from, you know. It almost has to form some kind of a triangle. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about it looks better that way and i would rather you do it that way than making um straight lines i don't know if you know what i'm talking about here so i'm now uh, adding some water just to make sure the hair is moisturized you know we need to keep moisturizing guys like we need to be moisturized our skin our hair has to be moisturized you never get enough of the moisture so yeah i did do the same thing as well added the uh, gel to make sure the hair was flat and um, used the cotton to tighten or rather to secure the hair so like i was saying guys these hairstyles you know i'm actually trying or, pr or promising to actually do more bridal hairstyles um, especially natural hair bridal hairstyles if that makes sense you know the african natural hair kind I'm definitely going to do the western hairstyles as well you know the ones with weaves I'll do those too but for now I want to do more of the natural ones so guys as you can see I'm just trying to show you what I was using so that is a Mali braid I'll tag a photo of what the hair looks like uh, right somewhere on top of the corner there I had already used it on myself in the last video so I would advise you guys to actually go back to that video watch it and see how I combed it out and how I made it into this part like this so but for this video I'm using the same one so I won't be able to demonstrate how I came up with that but as you can see I tied it in the middle just like so and um, I left the cotton hanging because I had to use those two to secure that to the hair if that makes sense yeah you're definitely going to see what I mean. I was also explaining in the background, but uh, like I said, I muted myself, you know. So, yeah, once you're done with uh, the tying of the three parts, you're going to braid them out like so. Make sure you braid it all the way to the top like what I did here. And then once you're done, you're going to fold it into itself. And then you're going to sew it with cotton. Um, and then you can use a big needle to do this a small one is actually much more difficult to use but if you have a big needle and some thick thread you can actually uh, just uh, sew that three or four times just to make sure it is secure and you are definitely done uh, so I went ahead and did that off camera and you can see all the three parts are done 
uh, yeah so uh, this is uh, what you're going to do you get the hair like that and then you you put it in front of the first bow if that makes sense and then you tie it or secure it tightly like what I am doing now and uh, you have to make sure it is secure because uh, you're going to be pulling the hair you're going to be tugging on the hair a lot so make sure the hair is secure and tight so you're going to hold the hair like what I was doing now. I'm sorry guys because I, I did not know that we were out of focus. So you, I can't see the top part of the hair. But what I'm doing right now is I'm folding the hair backwards as you can see. Folding it inside and backwards like so. So you're going to come up with something like this. And then you're going to secure it with some bobby pins on both sides. You can use as many bobby pins as possible. Just make sure they are not showing and uh, yeah so you're going to secure it on the left and also secure with a bobby pin on the right so you get the next one like that you put it in front and then this time because you can't use the cotton because you know you've already pinned the hair backwards so you can't use cotton to tie if that makes sense you're going to use bobby pins again you're allowed to make or use as many bobby pins as possible but i used two so after uh, for this one you're going to have to fold it forward I hope that makes sense so the first one we are folding it backwards but for this one which is in front we are folding it forward inside tightly and securely I hope that makes sense uh, if I'm not making sense then just see what I'm doing in the video I'm sure you can understand what I'm trying to say or communicate <laughs> yeah so Again, you're going to use uh, bobby pins. You can use as many as possible to just make sure you secure the hair. You know, you want to make sure that um, the bride is um, comfortable so they don't have to be painful. And you also want uh, that to last longer. You know, you don't want her to go back home or rather she's dancing and the hair falls off. No. So it has to be very secure. Make sure you're always prepared with a lot of bobby pins. So I did fast forward this part because you guys have definitely seen me doing this and uh, yeah so as you can see i'll just explain one more time i am folding that one backwards and then i'll fold the next one forward you see like what i'm doing so you fold it backwards you secure it with some bobby pins on both sides as many bobby pins as you can use as long as you get the kind of security that you want you know so yeah i did do that and i put the next one tied it again or rather secured it sorry with some bobby pins and then i folded it forward i'm sure you can see what i'm talking about like so very very easy and uh, yeah very comfortable also and it is very afrocentric you know what i mean and i went ahead and finished it off camera and that is what i have right there so i did the decorate pins as you can see so if she's a bride you can use some flowers white flowers and she would look beautiful so now we're going to make so up to start by cleansing with uh, the garnier micellar cleansing water And then we're going to moisturize with uh, the Nivea Soft uh, Refreshing Soft Moisturizing Cream. So I then went ahead and did her brows using an eyebrow pencil. I am actually much more comfortable using an eyebrow pencil than an eyebrow gel. So you can see my eyebrow pencil is done. Then I concealed her brows using that uh, LA Girl Pro Concealer and then I also primed her face using a matte uh, primer. And then I used those two foundations, that's Mary Kay and Fenty Beauty. And then I used the same concealer to also highlight her highlighted areas and blended it out using a damp uh, beauty blender just like so yes so then sorry guys i did not show you the part where i was actually contouring i did not show you what i used but i used la girl pro concealer in a darker shade i am assuming it should have been toffee yes and then i used mac powder mac by um, avon that's what i used to set the concealer and then i used black opal to set the contour just like so and then i blended guys blending is very important you need to blend until you can't blend again 
you know what i mean blend blend and blend so guys unfortunately i only realized after i had finished doing her makeup that i did not actually press record but anyway this is what my model looks like she is a beautiful we don't play here we don't play we slay we slay <laughs> So if you have enjoyed watching this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also comment down below if you need some other hairstyles that you want me to try out. I'll definitely do that for you. See you in the next video. I love you guys. Mwah, mwah, mwah.